Every day he comes to me with new assurance. More and more I understand his work of love. But I never know just why he came to save me. Till someday I see his blessed face above. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. The theme of the view help. Yes. Uh, you can say a lot about help. Oh, yeah. I'll be taking my subject from this afternoon from Revelation chapter 5, mm -hmm. verse 11 through 14. As we talk about help, help is a place God wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. And that's why we go through the trial and tribulation in his life. And we want to go to a place that God has prepared for them that love him. Amen. Help is a place where God a crown waiting for those who love him as well. Amen. We have more enduring subject, uh, subject in heaven as well, and something in heaven as well. We are hope is made up in heaven also as well. Amen, amen. When we look at Revelation chapter 5 for this afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, chapter 5, verse number 11, John the Apostle, there I got about five minutes left, uh, John the Apostle, and I'm going to work on that five minutes real quick, uh, John the Apostle, uh, write this, this book, uh, as you write St. John as well, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John. Now you're on our Patmos, and he writes to the seven churches of Asia as well. Mm -hmm. And as he writes to them, uh, John saw something. Yes. And the first thing he saw in John, in Revelation chapter 5, he saw a book mm -hmm. in the hand. And the right hand, that had seven seals. Mm -hmm. No more word than to open that book. Mm -hmm. No more word to loosen those seals. Nobody but one. All right. And we find that looking at the word of God in Revelation chapter 11, we find that as no one able to open the seal, open that book of the seventh seal, mm -hmm. uh, there was John weeping and crying. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said an angel uh, cried out loud, and the elder said, John, read not. Yes. The line of Judah, mm -hmm. the tribe of uh, the line of Judah, and of David. John said, is able to open the book of the seventh seal. Mm. And I want you to notice something as I get ready to take a seat. <laughs> I want you to notice that uh, that you see here uh, that John said no one was able to open this book but, but the Lamb of God. Right. And when John saw that, as John was looking at the past, it, but Jesus already died and bled and shedding his blood. Mm -hmm. Jesus already been to the cross. Now John sees a picture of the lamb swaying before the foundation of the world. John see that Jesus was slain and, and his blood was purchased of uh, the redeemed people of God, uh, those in the kingdom, those that serve him. And, but when you look at verse number 11, uh, we find that and he said when the books were open, the seal were broken. And the book were open. Mm -hmm. John saw something else. Mm -hmm. Now, as you notice, uh, that the book had to be open first. Mm -hmm. For John could see what was going on. And that what the Lamb of God had done. Mm -hmm. Just like what John said when John said, Behold, the Lamb of God who take away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. That's why today we need to praise Him. That's why we need to worship him Amen. and praise him yes. because what he did on the cross, yes. we need to worship him and praise him. If they worship him in heaven mm -hmm. and they praise him in heaven, we need to worship and praise him as well. Amen. When you look at Revelation chapter 5 verse 11, John said, I beheld, I heard the voice of many angels. Uh -huh. You know, the angels were around the throne yes. and in thousands on thousands, ten thousands on ten thousands, Sing and praise it uh, to the Lamb of God who is worthy with power, with wisdom and strength. And John said also uh, with honor and glory to pray. He said a song, this song around the throne of God. Mm -hmm. Then John looked again. He saw some more. Yeah. 
that were singing, yes. praising yes. around the throne of God. <laughs> but don't you notice that we have something to praise God about today? Amen. But we ought to come to worship service on fire for the Lord. Amen. And you know that they sung out loud to the Lamb. Yes. They sung a loud voice. I told the church this morning, if you don't know him, don't just make a draw for noise to the Lord. Yes. You know, make a draw for noise to him. The, the song is talking about making a draw for noise to the Lord. Saying to the God of glory as well. So we hear, we see here, that as I get ready to close, we find that in verse 13, that every creature which is in heaven, notice that every creature which is in heaven, on earth, under the earth, and somewhere in the sea, all that are in the heard I say, blessed unto glory, glory and power unto him that sat on the throne, right? And unto the Lamb forever and ever and ever. Amen. We worship. We praise God. We can see a view of heaven. And the church is not be a type of heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. But we worship. We praise God. We give thanks to him as well. And this is what John saw. Speaking to yourself. Song. Hymn. Spiritual song. Make it melody in your heart unto the Lord. Where the music be made in your heart to the Lord. Yes. Singing, teaching, mindful in song, him, that the word of God you richly, right? God's word out to the well and you richly. But how do we sing to him? We sing him with the fruit of our lips, right? Not with the good talk. But we are the instrument of God, right? So we are to sing around the throne. We are to lift up the praise of God and let Jesus know we love him as well yeah. through the praise and the worship we sing as well. Mm -hmm. So that's a view of help. All the angels around the throne, every creature, ever, Satan, power, <laughs> strength, <laughs> wisdom, yes. glory, yes. honor, mm -hmm. praise to him yes. who set yes. of old the throne. Yes. Think about that church. Yes. We ought to praise him. Yes. He have all power yes. in heaven yes. and in earth, right? Yes. Let's praise God today. Yes. Let's give glory to his name. That's a view of heaven. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. I, uh, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and are of God's household, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, mm -hmm. in whom the whole building being fitted together is growing into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also being built together into a dwelling of God in the Spirit. Yes. So here we have the church pictured as a society or as a nation. Notice the word fellow citizens. Mm -hmm. Paul is saying to the Gentiles who are there that they are no longer strangers and aliens to God. We are now fellow citizens with all of the saints of God. We were at one time strangers and aliens. Right. The word stranger means outsider or an unknown person. A person who does not belong to God, the word aliens means foreigner, a migrant, or an exile. You see, there was a time when we were outside of God and outside of His kingdom. Yes. When we were unknown to God and His kingdom. When we did not belong to God and His kingdom. There was a time when we were strangers mm -hmm. and a foreigner to yes. God, when we were not citizens. Yes. We had no relationship. Mm -hmm. We had no fellowship with God. Amen. And no home. Mm -hmm. And no rights to citizenship mm -hmm. in His kingdom. But the glorious news is Amen. that we are no longer strangers Amen. and aliens Amen. to God. Amen. Jesus Christ has brought us back mm -hmm. to God. We are now fellow citizens yes. with all of God's people. Amen. We now have a home and have all the rights of citizenship in God's mm -hmm. kingdom. We are saints, which means that we are set apart or separated to God. Amen. 
The picture is that of a people who are fellow citizens in a nation or a society that is created by God. Amen. The church is pictured as God's building mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. Mm -hmm. The cornerstone is the first stone laid. Mm -hmm. yes. All other stones are placed after mm -hmm. the cornerstone. Right. It is the premier stone in time. The cornerstone is the directional stone. Yes. It is used to line up the whole building. It is and can be called an instructional stone. Mm -hmm. Because upon it, all the lines and instructions of the building are based off the chief cornerstone. Amen. So it is with Christ. He is the person who gave and gives us the direction and instruction to God's people. By inspiration, Paul included in that foundation the apostles and prophets. Mm -hmm. We are to listen to the teachings of the apostles. Jesus promised to the apostles that he had to go away, yeah. and he wasn't going to leave them alone. Amen. He would give them something right. after yeah. he left. Amen. John 14 and the verses 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. So we, the church, yes. are to build our lives upon the apostles and Jesus' instructions only. Amen. If we follow any other instructions or directions, we will be out of line. And when we are noticed, we have to be removed and cast aside Amen. and replaced with a stone that can uh, be set in line. Amen. Christ is the chief cornerstone. Amen. God used him to give directions to all the other stones. Listen, the church's stability yes. lies in each stone being placed mm -hmm. and fitted and cemented by the same Lord and by each stone holding its load, fulfilling its purpose. Notice that the local church exists for the purpose of providing a habitation yes. or a home, mm -hmm. a holy temple for the Lord. With that, we're going to go into our song because the end of our verse says, you are also being built together into a dwelling of God in the Spirit. Amen. So let's say there is a habitation. Amen. Boy, I don't know if I can see that. <laughs> there 